Understanding Dosage Form in Medications Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase, dosage form. It's a term that you might have come across when reading about medicines or healthcare. So, if you're ready, let's dive in and learn what, dosage form, really means and how it's used in context. The phrase, dosage form, refers to the physical form in which a medication is produced and taken by patients. Dosage forms are important because they determine the medication's route of administration, which is how the medication is given to or taken by the patient. There are various dosage forms, such as tablets, capsules, liquids, and creams. Each form is designed to deliver the medication to the body in a specific way, which can affect how quickly it works and how it is absorbed by the body. In this section, we will talk about some common dosage forms and their purposes. 1. Tablets and capsules, solid forms intended for oral consumption. They are easy to use and are designed to release medicine in a controlled manner. 2. Liquids, these include solutions, syrups, and suspensions. They are often used for their ease of swallowing and quick absorption. 3. Topical medications. Creams, ointments, and patches are applied directly to the skin. They are used for localized treatment. 4. Inhalers. These deliver medication directly to the lungs and are commonly used for respiratory conditions like asthma. 5. Injectables. Medications that are delivered through a needle directly into the bloodstream, muscle, or skin. Understanding these dosage forms is crucial for knowing how to take your medication correctly and for understanding instructions when they are given by healthcare professionals. Choosing the right dosage form can influence the drug's effectiveness and the patient's comfort. For example, some medications are better absorbed in the lining of the stomach, while others need to bypass the stomach and be absorbed in the intestines. The dosage form can also affect the medication's side effects and the frequency of dosing. For instance, a slow-release capsule may be taken once a day, whereas a regular tablet may need to be taken multiple times a day. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has helped clarify the meaning of dosage form and its significance in medication use. Remember, understanding this term is vital for anyone interested in health, medicine, or improving their English vocabulary in these fields. Stay tuned for more informative videos, and don't forget to subscribe for more learning content. See you next time.